Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and today I wanted to show you how to get PlayStation 1 emulator and ROMs on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPhone 3G for free, as you can see in the title. Um, yep, this is 100% free, and um, we're going to go for our iPod Touch or iPhone first. You obviously need a jailbroken iPod Touch, and you need to open up Cydia. Before I started um, showing you what to do, I just wanted to ask you guys, you guys could help me with something. Um, I've been trying to change the background of this home page of Cydia, um, and I'm not able to. I saw it in one of um, uh, Dino Zambis' video, and I couldn't, I can't find the file. Um, so if you guys could just tell me where the file is located that I need to change, that'd be great. And I'd do whatever you want. I'll answer all your questions. I can make you a carrier like that. Um, I'll do anything if you guys could just tell me where that file is located. Alright, guys? Um, Alright, on to the PlayStation 1. Um, what you need to do is go into Cydia, and in the search box, we need to type in P S X, and that's all we're going to need. We want to install the emulator. It's called PSX for iPhone, and it is by Zod, but what um, Zod wants you to do is to donate to him and then download it, but there's an easy way where you don't have to um, donate any money. You want to go down until you see the box where it says asks you to down, um, donate. You want to click into that little box, and you want to go down to where it says free and just click on that. And you want to click done. So that's a little hidden option that Zod gives you that little people see, um, and it lets you donate nothing. Then you want to click donate and download. And in very small letters, if you guys can see that, it'll say success. Alright, guys? And then you can be free to download it, install it. Um, in the top right where mine says modify, you're going to click install and then confirm. I'm going to cancel out of that. And once you have PSX for iPhone, that's all you're going to need to do on your iPod. We're going to go on to our computer. You want to go into the first link in the video description, and that'll take you to this um, website. And what we need to do is scroll down until we see these download links. And we're going for the um, third one that says SCPH1001. So this one right here, we're going to click download. So you, you are going to need WinRAR, so that will be like the third link in the video description. You're going to click on that, click download. You're going to click open with, and you're going to drag and drop this SC, um, SCPH1001.bin to your desktop and you will have the BIOS file. Alright guys? Once you have the BIOS file saved to your desktop, like, um, right there, you are going to need to get some ROMs. Now most videos just point you to some website where you can download ROMs, and they don't actually show you how to get the ROMs, but in this video I'll be showing you actually how to download a ROM for PlayStation. You want to go into the second link in the video description, and again you're going to need WinRAR for this, and it's romhustler.net. And this will show you um, a page where you can download Sony PlayStation ROMs. And we're going to scroll down until we see the letter and the number range. And we want to click on a letter we want. So if we were to click on like D for our games starting with D, we would scroll down and we get a complete list of all games that start with D. The thing is, PlayStation 1 games are much bigger than NES and Genesis and Game Boy, so they will come in parts. So as you can see, a lot of these games say like part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4, part 5, part 6, and etc. Because they cannot fit all of it, um, they can't upload it to the website all in one file because it'll be way too much. So what you need to do is download every single part. So if we have the game called Driver right here, what we need to do is click on part 1. We're going to click download this ROM, and you will need one I'll say that again. And you're going to wait until it says um, the download link. So we're just going to wait until it says. You have to wait 15 seconds. And it will appear. And then we want to click, click, we want to click where it says here. Click here to start your download. And then you want to save it to your desktop, okay? So save it. Um, not open it. You want to save it to your desktop as um, the WinRAR file. And after you download part one, you're going to um, go back once, go back twice, and you're going to go back, and you're going to click on driver part two. 
and you're gonna repeat the process for all of the parts. You're gonna click download this ROM, wait 15 seconds for the download link, and then click um, the download button, all right? And you're gonna do this whole process for all 10 parts of the ROM. So download part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, part six, part seven, part eight, part nine, part 10. Um, now this particular ROM has 10 parts. Some have more, some may have less, all right? Once you've downloaded all of the 10 parts, it'll look like that. Um, I have the 10 parts all there. And what you want to do is right click on the first one. So it'll say part one dot RAR. You want to right click that. And you're just going to click extract here. All right, so you're going to click extract here. And when you extract the first one, all of the 10 parts automatically get extracted to one um, WinRAR file. And that's this zip file right here, or RAR file right here. And all we're going to do now is right click that and click extract here. So it'll, all the 10 parts will go into one RAR file when they're extracted. And then from there, you want to click extract here. And you will get a folder that looks just like this with the same name as the RAR file. I'm going to open that up. And there will be the file that is the game. There may be some other files as well. But the one we're looking for will end in either IMG, um, like this one, or will end in BIN, BIN, or it will end in ISO, which is ISO. So those are the three formats that your game will be in. I'll repeat IMG, BIN, and ISO. In this case, is IMG. So that is the actual game. And you already have downloaded the BIOS file, which should be scph1001.bin, all in lowercase. It should be downloaded like that. Once you have the game you want installed and the BIOS, you are going to SSH into your iPod Touch. Link in the video description will, um, will show you how to SSH into your iPod Touch or iPhone. And it'll take you to the home screen. You want to backspace once. Then you're going to go into the fo folder called mobile. Then you're going to go into the folder called media. And when you install PSX for iPhone or if you've installed any other emulators for the iPod Touch, it would already create a folder called ROMS, ROMs. And you want to double click on that. And when you install PSX for iPhone, it'll automatically create a folder called PSX, all in capital letters, so no need to create this. And what you want to do is make this smaller. And we need to drag and drop the IMG bin or ISOF file, whatever it may be, um, into PSX. So we're going to take that, drag it, and drop it into PSX. And when it asks us to copy, we're just going to click copy. I've already copied it because the games do tend to take a while to copy. Um, this one is about, what is it, 729 megabytes. So it may take an hour minimum. Bigger games may take even longer. Just be patient, go out, get a coffee, whatever. Just copy it into that directory. And after it is done copying, um, you want to copy in the BIOS file. So right there scph1001.bin. You're going to drag and drop that into PSX and click copy. Again, I've already copied it, but that takes no time to copy. You can do the BIOS first. You can copy the BIOS in first. It really doesn't matter, I don't think. And once you have the game you want and the BIOS copied into that folder, PSX, you are ready to go onto your iPod Touch. And we're going to go um, to the PSX for iPhone emulator. And it looks just like that. We're going to open it up. And I want this video to end before 10 minutes. We're going to click on driver. And we're going to click portrait um, or landscape, whether you want sound or not. And there you go. You have the um, controller. It's obviously not going to be that great. It's nowhere near the NES or the Game Boy Advance emulator. But it's still pretty fun to say that I have a PS1 emulator on my iPod Touch or like say, oh, I'm playing a PS1 game on my iPod Touch. I'll just show you loading. I'll just show it to you that it is working. I'm not going to actually get into gameplay because it'll take a while for it to load up because I think it's an intense game. And there you see the game is loading up. It gives me the message. All right, guys, please subscribe, rate, and comment. Um, I want you guys to go check out my giveaway. And when I get 700 subscribers, link will be in the video description. All right. See you guys.